This is Duncan Turner from the Vagina Doctor podcast. Welcome to the Consult With Me segment where we take a deeper look into our most frequently asked questions. But what do I know? I'm just a vagina doctor. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Getting better. Good. Um, so our consult with me this morning is the SIN3 HPV, which I had a call, I guess, a week and a half ago about this from a younger patient in her early 30s. And she is wanting to get pregnant probably in about a year and was not getting the help from her uh, other physician. So she found you and is coming in soon to see you. Right. So I wanted to kind of break this down because I haven't <clears throat> hadn't heard this before about SIN3. Obviously, I've heard a lot about HPV, but I personally didn't know what that was. So I wanted you to go over that today. It's SIN3 is one expression of HPV. HPV is a virus. Um, it's very, very common. There are lots of different strains of that virus, some of which are associated with warts and others with precancerous lesions. Um, and so that it's taken seriously. And this is what we found to be the cause of cervical cancer. And uh, it took us kind of a long time to get to that point. But once we could do DNA typing, uh, we were able to to basically establish that 99% of cervical cancers are originate from human papilloma virus. Um, so, so a girl at 30 getting diagnosed with this, let's just go through what does that look like for her, for her fertility, and then after that and uh, preventing these this cancer? Well, lots of people at that age could have HPV. Um, but there are certain strains of it that are more serious than others. And those are the ones that we're concerned about with cervical pathology. Um, if she's got to sin three, she has clearly one of those higher risk ones. And that needs to be treated because it can be passed down to a fetus, <clears throat> excuse me, a, a child in at uh, time of birth. And, um, and, but it doesn't have an adverse effect on fertility. So, so let's walk through that treatment. What is that treatment for that patient? The treatment is, is usually um, a, an excision uh, or biopsy of the area that they're talking about. And I don't know whether the SYN3 in this case that you're referring to is something that's picked up on a pap smear or is the result of a biopsy? It's a result of a biopsy. Okay. So, and then the question becomes, what does the colposcopic exam look like? The colposcopic exam is something that's done with a microscope in the vagina, uh, looking at the cervical mucosa and the squamo-columna junction, the, the junction of the cervical cells and, uh, and the vaginal cells. Um, the um, it depends on what's seen at that point, and the biopsy is obviously important, and that gives us a, an idea of the severity. But I don't have any idea at this point from the history as to how extensive that is. Mm -hmm. Either way, um, if it can be excised, that's a really good way to do it. Uh, that's can be called it can be just an excisional biopsy. Um, which can be done in the office under local anesthesia. And that's often referred to as a LEAP procedure, oh, okay. L-E-E-P. Um, I don't the, think she's had that. No, probably not. Uh, because that's thought of essentially as a treatment. Um, a more ex uh, aggressive treatment is what's called a cone biopsy, where a cone-shaped segment is removed from the cervix involving the squamous columnar junction uh, and with the hope that you're getting all of the virus that way, on all of the effects of the virus. Now, none of that is is uh, confirms that the virus has gone away. That's the problem. So the pathology may be gone away by this treatment, but the virus is still there. And so the the patients are usually encouraged to do um, some lifestyle changes um, in terms of. Uh, general health, 
nutrition, rest, sleep, exercise, um, and um, avoidance of smoking uh, or any toxic chemicals because they will all reduce the body's immune response to the virus. You can, though, uh, give medication vaginally around the cervix that will increase the immune response. And so that's something that can be done. And then it can be followed by doing repeat um, HPV assessments and see there are two aspects of looking at the HPV. One of them is just the presence of it because the presence of it is the concern in childbirth. Yeah. The severity of the lesion, the pathology, is a concern for the patient's health long term because people die of cervical cancer. But if it's caught early enough, when it's localized, it absolutely can be treated and, and there should be no death from it. So would it be safer for her either way to have a C-section? Yes, okay. that's one way that, that we can avoid exposure of, of the child to that. Um, this is not often done, um, but I'm, I'm sure that lots of people have vaginal births um, uh, in the presence of HPV. So the, the chances of the baby getting it are kind of small, but they're there. Mm -hmm. And if the baby does get infected with HPV, it, uh, the usual clinical effect is that there are condylometer on the vocal cords. And, um, and so it's, it's also hard to diagnose at, at that point. And there is all, always, with the, if it's a strain that is one of the high-risk strains, uh, there's uh, a, a potential of malignancy. Sexual partners can also get the HPV, and sometimes if it's that more aggressive virus, uh, that can be a cause. And so there's a lot of, there's been a, a recent, like the last few decades, increase of um, male oral cancer because of HPV. So, I mean, for this patient at 30, what are the things right now for that person with the Syn3 HPV? Well, it's basically excise it if mm -hmm. you can or, or treat it with immune uh, supplements, uh, immune enhancing medication, um, both orally for the patient and vaginally and watch it closely and hold off until it can be, it's found to be negative. Okay, great. Thank you. Thanks for listening. And if you have more questions, please let us know either by email or DM us on the Vagina Doctor podcast. See you in the next episode. The Vagina Doctor podcast. It all starts here.